Hello everyone, it's Ryan at West Ham Fan TV. Just going to do a little roundup video on all the latest transfer and news surrounding West Ham in the past few days. Uh, so I'm going to go straight into it with the transfer rumours. First of all is the Toulouse and France under 21 striker, uh, Ben Yedda, the 25 year old. Um, like I said, I mean, I have seen him play, uh, not as much as I'd like to have really, uh, now that we're linked with him, but I've seen, obviously as we always do when we're linked with players, we look on YouTube, see all their videos and yeah, they show you the best highlights of him. For me, he looks like a natural finisher, uh, like I said, young, 25 year old, he scored 63 goals in 156 games for Toulouse, so he obviously knows where the back of the net is. Uh, he's, he's a fast striker, like I said, he's a great finisher, he likes to play off the shoulder and make them runs. And with players in our team like Antonio, Payet, Lanzini, Noble, Gokan Torre now, they can find that pass. You know, you know, he could, he could be. We need a natural finisher. We're, we've been crying out for a striker. Is he the answer to our problems? It'd probably be the cheapest of the options, to be fair. So, I mean, we're keeping an eye on that. Hopefully, over the next few days, uh, we'll hear a bit more about that. Uh, the next one is... The man, Carlos Backer. Where is he? We're, we've been linked with him for so long now, it's like we can't get the deal done. I mean, apparently Atletico Madrid were in for him. To be fair to Backer, he's come out and said that he wants Champions League football. Fair enough, he's 29. You know, he plays for AC Milan. So, you know, the thing is with this one, the deal looked dead. For me, I thought it was all over. But now that Atletico Madrid has said that they don't want him, uh, it looks like the deal's back on. So I think this one, this is this one's going to drag out. I think, I think he's going to hold out for a Champions League team. If no one comes in for him, then maybe we might be able to persuade him to join West Ham. But do you really want a striker there like that who is only coming to us because he couldn't go to another club he wanted to go to? It's a bit of a difficult one, but we need a striker. We've lost out on Batshuayi, gone to Chelsea. Lacazette looks like he's he's going to join someone. Uh, could be Arsenal, but we re we really really need a striker. And so yeah, I'm sure you'll be hearing a lot more of me talking about Carlos Backer over the next few days, weeks, until that transfer window probably shuts. Um, the next one uh, is a bit of a strange one for me. Uh, James Rodriguez of Real Madrid. Apparently, Zinedine Dan said he can go. Um, for me, he's an attacking midfielder, winger. Do we really need another attacking midfielder and a winger? Listen, he's a world-class player. He's a Colombian international. I believe he's their captain as well. Um, 25 years old. Good age. I mean, Real Madrid paid £63 million for him in 2013 from Monaco. So, they're going to want to recoup, recoup quite a lot of that money. And what are we talking here? 40, 50 million? I've seen prices of 63 million, 67 million that, we, that we're going to apparently pay for him. Come on. For an attacking midfielder and winger, when we're crying out for a striker, why are we going to not waste that sort of money, but why are we going to go for someone like If you're going to pay the 63 million, for me, go and get your Lacazette. Go and get your Lukaku even. You never know. For, no. I mean, could it also be a swap deal for Dimitri Payet? Similar positions. Rodriguez is younger. Real Madrid obviously have made it clear that they want Payet. Um, Payet's obviously said he wants to stay. So I think, if anything, with that, it would involve a swap deal for Payet for Rodriguez. I can't see West Ham paying that sort of money for an, an, another attacking midfielder when we're crying out for a striker. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's, I know there's loads more players that we're linked with, but I'm just going to, I'm going to be doing this more daily now. So I'm going to be, over the next few days, you'll see more videos. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's it for all the, the transfer rumours I want to talk about. A couple of other stories I want to talk about. Firstly, Diafra Sacco. Um, where do I start with this man? Apparently he's handing the transfer request. He's refused to travel to Austria with the rest of the squad. Uh, for me... A player like him, on his day, yeah, he's a good player, but he's, he's injured a lot. And for me, if he doesn't want to be there, let him go. I mean, I don't care if you're Dimitri Payet or Mark Noble or the tea lady. If you don't want to 
work for West Ham or play for West Ham, then see you later. But for me, we don't really need the money. I mean, this if he don't want to play, this this make him sit there next season in the stands and watch us. And if he don't turn up to watch, he don't get paid. You now let's teach him a lesson. Players like that really, really do my nothing because without us, he would probably still be in France Division Two, sitting on the bench somewhere. I mean, for me, I think he had a bit of an attitude problem. Obviously, it stemmed from when he had a falling out with Slav and Bilic at the Arsenal game at home last season. Uh, you see at the end of the season, for me, his attitude stunk. Um, listen, to be, if he wants to go, let him go. He, he's rumoured to go to West Brom or Sunderland. Shows his ambition with what we've got going into. Threw his uh, toys out of the pram, you know, because he ain't been guaranteed first-team football. No player should be guaranteed first-team football. You've got to work for your place. So that's all I've got to say about Diafra Sacco, really. Uh, the next one on my list is Reese Oxford. Uh, apparently, uh, Sky Sports breaking news, um, Manchester City are favourites to sign him for between 10 to £15 million. Uh, would it be a good deal for the club? 17 years old, £15 million. Only made seven appearances for West Ham last season. Obviously, the standout game for him was Arsenal away, beginning of the season, first game. Uh, for me, I'd like to see him stay. He's got potential, but it depends on who's in his ear. His agents can promise him this and that. He obviously has had a taste of first-team football. After the Arsenal game, he got a lot of praise. And I'm not saying it's gone to his head, but maybe he wants a taste of it more. But will he get more opportunities at Man City than he'll get at West Ham? Of course he ain't. We've all seen what all these young, uh, young English players go into Man City. They sit on the bench, they take a big wage, and then they go on loan or they go off to another club lower in the league. So, listen... Reese Oxford, I'd love to see you stay, but if you, like, like same with Diafro Seco, if you want to go, then we're not stopping you. You know, I'd rather you go and sit on City's bench than stay at West Ham and, and moan. But I'd rather see you fight. You you're a good player. You know, you've got potential to do really well. Slavin obviously rates you. The fans love you. I rate you as well. So listen, we're keeping an eye on that one. Like I said, it's Sky Sports breaking news. Uh, every time they say that, nothing ever happens. Uh, one more story I've got to talk about just before I go. The kit launch. That was tasty, wasn't it? I mean, Chris Turner, the 26-year-old uh, freestyler rapper that they claimed is England's finest. Ooh, I bet Eminem's shaking in his boots if he'd have been watching that. I mean, for me, a kit launch, just show the kit. I know you've got to entertain the fans, but come on, surely they had better than that. Uh, he was hosted by Spencer Owen. Uh, I thought he'd done a good job, to be fair. I mean, he got a lot of criticism on Twitter, which I don't know why he gets it. He's only doing what, if any of us, a West Ham fan TV or any West Ham fan was offered the chance to do, they'd do it. So, you know, I don't understand the criticism that he gets. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the one thing I would say, I mean, that all the players they had there, they didn't really talk to any players. I mean, they brought out the players from underground Reed, Creswell and Antonio and then they brought out the rest of the players with a home kit on that was already leaked so it weren't really a, a kit launch that no one knew what it was going to look like but um, yeah I mean it's over now isn't it, it's given all the other fans a laugh at us so we'll move on but listen this is just a quick little video, I'm going to be doing more of these daily so any breaking news or anything you're going to see this ugly mug back on your screen Um Listen, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We've got so much coming up over the next few weeks. We've got a special post-match pint coming up as well. Um, and obviously, we'll be back for the Euro Europa League in a couple, a few weeks' time. So listen, I'm Ryan at West Ham Fan TV. Thank you so much for watching this video. Come on, you irons.